Colin Hardiman here at the third annual Black Excellence Tribute. Charlemagne the God, how are you doing tonight, sir? Colin, what's up, my brother? What did you think about the tribute tonight? I thought it was great. And um, the reason I thought it was great is because I feel like we don't celebrate each other enough. You know, like I said on the stage, I feel like we live in this system where they constantly you know, beat us in the head with white supremacy. And I think a lot of times white supremacy breeds black inferiority. Mm -hmm. So I think it's good for us to lift each other up and to celebrate each other and to tell each other that we're great, tell each other that we're excellent, tell each other that we are gods and kings and queens and just lift each other up. So I just think events like this are great, just if, if, if for anything for our self-esteem. What does black excellence mean to you personally? I mean, black excellence means everything to me. I mean, I got a book coming out called Black Privilege. And you know, people look at that title and they screw their face up like, Black people ain't got no privilege. Well, you know, for me, the fact that you think that way is a problem. Yeah. You know, I think being black is a privilege. You know, I feel like, you know, a lot of times when you talk about white privilege, you're talking about something that's systemic. When you talk about black privilege, you talk about something that's spiritual. Yeah. It's a difference. Right. You know, I believe in my people that much, man. And um, I just feel like, you know, that just that, just having that mind that, that mindset, you know, the, the young lady that was on stage from Africa, she spoke about how her grandmother used to always, you know, reinforce the fact that black, the color of her skin, mm -hmm. you know, meant that she was excellent, you know what I mean? Like she had no choice but to be excellent. She had no choice but to be great because of our lineage, because of the fact that we are kings and queens and gods. So, you know, black excellence is just a model that I wake up with. You know, I wake yeah. up and I be like, man, I piss excellence. Yeah. Along with, <laughs> along with the cognac. Yeah. The Breakfast Club and you, you are known for being controversial. People like me, I kind of look past the controversy and listen to the message itself because you seem to be pro-black. What is it personally that you would like to see in the black community? Well, two things. Um, yes, I do have the perfect balance of ratchetness and righteousness because I am just human at the end of the day. And two, I don't even like the term pro-black because I am black. You know what I'm saying? So people be like, oh, you on, you, you, you pro-black. You still pro-black lately. No, I'm black. Yeah. You know what I mean? So being that I'm black, I care about black causes. I care about black issues. I care about, you know, the struggles that black people face. See, I just want to see us rise up and, you know, take our rightful places, you know, in this universe, you know, not even necessarily in this society, in this universe, you know, like David Banner said when he was on the stage, think about where we came from. I had a conversation with Malcolm Gladwell recently, and I just asked him, you know, what is his thoughts on privilege? Because he talked about how you have to, you know, uh, 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 access your privilege. You have to, it's something that you attain. And then he talked about, um, you know, uh, white privilege and asked him what, what, he, what, he, what he considered black privilege. And he said, it is a certain privilege of being black, you know, but you have to tap into what you were. You have to tap into your history. You know what I mean? A lot of us have been stripped of that. A lot of us don't even know what that is. So once you tap into your history and you realize where you come from is truly a place of greatness, you know, then you'll start to return to that. I don't call myself Charlemagne the God for no reason. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I call myself the God as a constant reminder of who and what I am. You know, interviewing David Banner, what did you get from his message and all your questions you were asking him? Oh, man, so much. I mean, Banner's one of those people that I constantly always listen to, you know, um, along with Killer Mike and, you know, just a host of, you know, our greats like Dick Gregory, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Like, I'm blessed to be able to, to communicate with these people, man. And, you know, Banner's just one of those people that's been on the front line for a long time. He is a true resistor. Yeah. And, you know, you got people that's going to engage. You got people that's going to resist. He's a true resistor. But I like the fact he had a five-step plan, and his five-step plan is something that I'm definitely going to take, I'm going to get this tape yeah. and, you know, uh, listen to it again so I can actually write down the five steps. I remember a couple of them, which is re-imaging God, you yeah. know, uh, creating our own education and curriculum system, not even creating our own, just teaching about our, ourselves, yeah. you know, and, um, you know, buying black, of course, distributing black. But I just want to really go back and study those five steps because that's what I feel like we need to be doing now. We need to be discussing solutions. Right. Like everybody knows what the problems are. It's not too many people that's coming with solutions. Banner had solutions. So what I took from that was his five step you know, program that he laid out for us yeah. tonight. Everybody that tries to, you know, use their staff, they're using a celebrity to, you know, educate black people, but they, it seems like they get blackballed by Hollywood, by all these news companies. Nick Cannon, he's a regular on The Breakfast Club, and he's getting, it's like he's getting blackballed, that whole thing with America's Got Talent. Now they're trying to say he has some kind of mental symptom. What do you think is the counter for that? You can't be afraid of that, man. You gotta fear God more than you fear the devil. You know, and, and when you are saying things that you know can benefit your community and saying things that you know can benefit your people and benefit yourself, you got to say them, man. I mean, yo, would we be in this position if Harriet Tubman didn't say, yo, let's go? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or she, she, uh, would we be in this position if Martin Luther King didn't say, no, look, man, enough is enough. Right. Would we be in this position if Elijah Muhammad didn't say, look, 
we have to organize, we have to strategize, and we gotta create our own nation within a nation. Matter of fact, we don't need to be a part of this nation. Like, we can't be afraid. Like, right. uh, our people before us weren't afraid, so why are we afraid, mm. you know? Like, listen, man, I fear God, period. Yeah. And when God puts something on my heart, you know, I'm gonna move the way he wants me to move. Right. And if he wants me to move and, you know, organize my people and, and, and just get my people ready for whatever is to come, organized. you gotta do it, period. Period and God, God, every every body that God touches, you know, I guess that you could say is a quote unquote prophet. If you look in the Bible, God never made his his prophets say make people understand. All he said was to tell them. Right. That's it, and that's all brothers like Noah did, Moses did. They told them, you know. So that's how I feel. Like if, if Banner feel like he want to talk, talk. Nick feel like he want to talk, talk. I know I'm gonna talk. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? You're gonna, you're definitely gonna I'm going to talk. So yeah. it is what it is. Like, we'll be all right, but that's why it's so important yeah. to support our own because they can't blackball us if we got our own. Right. You know? Wise words. Thank you, Charlemagne the God. Really appreciate it. My brother. Keep on doing black excellence, man. Really appreciate it. Yes, sir.